proper way to use a comma. Tom wanted to buy a pizza, comma, but he didn't have enough money. Period. You should have a period after every sentence. Fanboys. For and no, but or yet. So you should always have a comma after every fanboy. Use a comma before any coordinated conjunction. Example. The sporting events, comma, however, comma, continue despite the weather, period. Independent clauses. The definition of an independent clause is sentence that stand out on its own. Dependent clauses. It's a clause that does not express a complete thought. Okay, next we'll be talking about introductory clauses and how to use it with a date. When using a date in a sentence, you should always use a comma after the date. Here we have in 1989, he graduated from high school. Our next example since November the fifteenth. Raise more than five thousand dollars for charity. These are the two ways you can use an introductional clause by using the comma. Next, we'll be talking about a few ways and 10 rules for using a comma. Number one, in a simple series of using a comma, you separate the elements but do not put a comma before the conjunction. Number two, use a comma to separate two independent clauses connected by a coordinate conjunction. Use a coordinate conjunction, you always use and but or or nor so yet a coordinate conjunction is at the beginning of an independent clause an independent clause is a word that you use to connect words used at the beginning of an independent clause or independent sentence, which stands alone. Number three. Use a comma following an introductory clause or prepositional phrase or four words or more, which would be these. 
Rule number one, number four. Use commas to set of modifiers that are not essential to the reader's ability to identify a particular person, place, or thing. Number five, use commas to separate adjectives of equal rank. Next, we'll be talking about comma splices. Here's an example. Black bears are beautiful. Semicolon because they have shiny coats. Number six, use commas to set a word that add emphasis, shift attention, or provide a fuller explanation Yes, no, names, and direct addresses. Use commas to set or particular, particular modifiers that come at the beginning of a sentence or after the verb. Number seven. What is a comma? A comma is a soft stop. It is not a final as a period which is at the end of any sentence. It is used to connect new ideas to old ones and to tell the readers when to pause a moment in their thinking or in the speaking. If they are reading out loud in long sentences, it also uses to separate clauses so the reader understands which modifiers apply to which words. Number eight, use a comma carefully to set off quotes or phrases. Number nine, use a comma with hometowns, ages, years of months and days, names of states and nations with cities, and most, most large numbers like 